welcome to Sining with Abe. Uh, today, nandito ako sa King Arts and Gallery Reservoir near Tagaytay, uh, Santa Rosa Road. So, ito ay isang uh, reservoir na kung saan uh, nagpa-promote sila ng art uh, with masasarap na pagkain. So, uh, I was invited uh, to become a teacher or facilitator for several art workshops. Uh, ito yung first time na ginawa to sa restaurant na to. Of course, I'm not just a teacher. I came with my brother, uh, Basti Oropia. And then, makikita nyo siya mamaya sa video, working with me. Ang gagawin natin dito ay ink drawing. So, yung sa ink drawing na gagawin natin, uh, gagamit tayo ng bowpens, black, tapos uh, dalawa pang kulay, orange at brown. So, uh, gagamitin natin to para matuto sila ng drawing ng walang takot sa pagbubura. So, uh, i-discuss ko mamaya yung less is more technique. And then, at the same time, paggagawin ko sila ng mga various uh, techniques or approaches on how to handle their ballpoint pen, which is very important sa mga exercises nila, which is uh, sa paggawa ng bato at yung ulo at mata ng bison. So, yun lang. Maraming salamat. Enjoy. Hi, I'm Mary Chris. I'm Johan. Um, uh, today, we had an art workshop here at King Arts Restaurant, located at Santa Rosa Takatai Road, Cavite. We are featuring uh, no other than a great teacher, Sir Abe, who will teach us how to use the um, pencil and pen and how to draw as well. So um, this is happening every weekend from Saturday to Sunday and uh, from 9 a.m. to 12 noon. It comes with the free art materials and the free snacks. So please visit our Facebook and Instagram and also our website. See you all! Bye! Good morning everyone, so uh, welcome uh, to Sining with Abe. Uh, today, uh, we're gonna start with ink. Uh, yesterday, we started with, we work on rather with pencils and then I think everyone enjoyed doing it. Uh, we were able to uh, discuss and then uh, see to it that we work on the geometrics to the organic and then including the shading, which is really helpful in a way. Uh, many think because that drawing is a simple thing or it doesn't look as grand as painting. But uh, yesterday, we were able to recognize that uh, drawing is very important. It's very crucial. It's a fundamental skill that uh, for every artist to learn. Okay, now, ink is the second thing. Uh, in fact, this is one of my uh, favorite uh, medium or a tool. So I, I grew up using ink. By the way, uh, when I was young, my father taught me not to use pencil. So uh, I was given a pencil pen or a marker. So that's why I can draw straight without erasure. So I'm not using uh, any erasers. Okay, so uh, we'll start with that lecture. Okay, in ink drawing, the number one principle is less is more. Uh, if we put too much uh, lines on it, it it it, uh, it doesn't look uh, really good okay or it will be messy in a way uh, compared with pencil pencil you can use a shading or you can just smudge it you can do a mass shading uh, to be able to work on it but uh, using ink it's different so you're going to manipulate lines proximity and then several techniques put together to be able to make it uh, look 3d if not, it will not work good or it will look messy if you overwork it. So again, the number one rule is less is more. So I was, uh, I was saying this a while ago. Overwork is messy. And then we have to be again analytical and observe. As much as possible, uh, we don't have to use pencil today. We can use ink directly. So we have ballpoint 
pens with you. So we have uh, three colors here. Well, black is not a color, it's a value. Brown and then an orange co color. So we're gonna use this later on for our final plate or final activity. But we're gonna use black muna sa una. So it's more on suggestion and implied. When I say suggestion and implied, uh, technically, we're not putting all the details required. We're just putting only the necessary. If you want to make a purple, then you have to make, you have to use the technique of uh, curvilinear, if not uh, stippling, to be able to achieve that. And then I'm going to show you samples later on my, on my PowerPoint. I am just again uh, doing this lecture, which is a dry run of what to expect later on. And then I will, of course, uh, repeat this again uh, while doing my demonstration work. I'm gonna show some of my uh, ink drawings uh, done on paper. So these are small pieces. Uh, I think this size, 9 by 12 inches or rather 12 by 9 inches because it's a vertical format or uh, portrait format so 12 by 9 uh, so this is a series I done in 2018 uh, which was uh, exhibited uh, in the Art Fair Philippines and then uh, everything was sold out so I'm using including this one so this is 2019 so as you can see the landscapes are there and then uh, the crumpled paper again, the, the lady wearing crumpled paper. Uh, I was able uh, to discuss everything uh, yesterday uh, during my art talk. And then of course, uh, you have seen this one, uh, the other one. And then this one, so this is uh, Jose Rizal's uh, sculpture done in the Pitan, uh, A Mother's Revenge. So this is uh, symbolism. Uh, so this is uh, this, uh, the Spain and then uh, the Philippines is the mother and then uh, she's protecting her puppy, technically. And then of course the other one. So as you can see, these are small drawings uh, except for the big two. These are small drawings but uh, done with uh, several techniques put together which uh, we're going to use later on including this one so the references are uh, mostly are pictures na kinop, uh, pinicture ang ko mismo including this uh, fish heads so I, I, I went to the supermarket and then uh, Nagtataka yung mga ano mga lalaki. Oy, bakit ka nagpi-picture ng ano ng fish heads? Yung mga tindero. Sabi ko, it's beautiful. Sabi ko, ang ganda-ganda ng paningin. So naka-arrange talaga siya ng ganyan. So mahaba siya puro heads. Tapos ito yung pinakamagandang arrangement. Tapos uh, I did put a quote uh, uh, from Troy. Okay. Or Iliad pala. And then there's one so again, these are small drawings. Ito yung war series ko na sinasabi ko uh, last time. So this is a uh, cow's head. And then another one. Now I have to show a few more. Oh, these are lot, a lot, a lot. Okay, normally, uh, in uh, my design classes in uh, Benilde or in other schools, so I always uh, do a demonstration work while my students are working at the same time. So I, 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 I draw on a whiteboard and then of course I am doing it for several minutes or sometimes hours. And then uh, the thing is after finishing this uh, huge work, the next teacher doesn't want to erase my work or they're 
sabi nakakapanghinayang daw burahin. So malalaki tong work na to. These are not the small as this one. So ganyan kalalaki yung mga works na yan. So eto bakit ko ginagawa? Uh, it's a practice and then it's a combination of uh, several techniques okay, put together. Uh, and then uh, of course I'm showing contrast, I'm showing texture, I'm showing uh, much of everything. So this is uh, the ani-ani, the hap, uh, hybrid rather, the hybrid of Aswang and Capre. And then here's our hero. So that's the details. This was in 2014. Okay, another sample. It's this one. So this is uh, a centaur, not a centaur, rather a tikbalang. In Filipino uh, no, mythological, uh, it's a Filipino mythological creature, rather. So you can see, uh, I'm working also with anatomy. It's a combination of a skill. So kaya napaka importante ng marunong kamo na drawing anatomy. Uh, kahit yung kamay ko, uh, tinuro ko yun sa inyo uh, yesterday. Uh, elongated na to. Hindi na to yung usual. So kasi hybrids na yung ginagawa ko. So I'm, I'm, I'm doing this most of the time. So these are just inks. Again. But ito yung gagawin natin technique. Uh, sa ink kasi, to be able to work on that, you need to use contour. You need to understand the texture. You need to understand volume. You need to understand uh, the mass the space it occupies and everything. So without further ado, so I have, I think I have shown a lot already. Uh, we will start on our first exercise. So, sundan niyo ako. Pero, uh, una muna. So, diagonal. So, diagonal lines only. It doesn't have to be perfect. Those are just line exercises. Kasi eventually, Later on, we're gonna use this technique based the on sa kopya hinyo. Ta? Sorry. Okay, para hindi tayo maharapan. Para hindi tayo mahirapan, mag-even out tayo ng spaces. So, ibig sabihin, kaysa sa susunod tayo, sa second box tayo, gawin ka agad natin yung third box. So, lahat ng add number muna, tapos next yung mga even numbers. Para magkaroon ng graduation. So, kung eto, mas marami yung ano, mas marami yung, uh, mas dikit-dikit yung spaces niya, eto naman, should be, uh, Mas malawak na yung mga spacing niya compared to the other one. Okay. And then next one. So sa ninth box, kahit one line lang sa gitna. So gagawin ko na yung ano, second box ko ah. Okay, nakita natin yung differentials. So, it's light to dark. So, mapapansin natin sa first box ko hanggang sa 
up to the ninth box, nalelesan yung lines. In fact, with the ninth box, it's just a one line na lang. Again, this is called hatching. Okay? Guys, take a look. Like there's one. It doesn't have to be perfect because this is these are line exercises that we're going to manipulate later. We're gonna use this for the contour, for the texture, for the shading, for everything. Next is cross hatching. Okay, so while you were doing this, ginagawa ko narin yung cross hatching. Cross hatching is literal na hatch lines din siya kaya lang criss cross. So naka naka X siya, literal. Parang kang gumagawa ng net. Okay? Bakit ko dinayagon to? Again, kung, kasi sa contour, it's always impression. If you want to make the lines narrow, then you have to put vertical lines. If you want to make it uh, wide, then horizontal lines. If you want to make it a bit curved or pwede slanted, rather slanted, not curved, you're gonna use diagonal lines. Again, we need to follow the impression ng uh, reference material na ginagaya natin. So, I'm gonna do cross-hatching here. Okay, this is the cross hatching. Nakalimutan ko mag, ano, spacing. Nalibang ako. Anyways. Sige. Ito, X na lang talaga. Yung ninth box. Tapos, nakalimutan ko mag-spacing kanina. Alam ko naman yung gagawin ko. Kaya lang, ito yung pinakamagandang technique. Add mo, number muna lahat. Tapos, sumunod iba number. So, nagkamali ako. Uh, that's part of it. Okay. Tuloy niya lang yung ginagawa nyo, ha? Walang mali dyan. Kasi talagang mapapractice nyo lang dapat yung pulso ng kamay nyo. Yun yung pinaka-importante na para hindi shaky yung kamay nyo later pag mag i kayo. Just follow the process. Okay? Tanggalin nyo yung ano, ha? Yung uh, may ano yan, meron takip yung ano nyo. Tapos pag na naiipo na yung ink, sa ballpoint pen, ipahid nyo lang sa paper, ha? Para hindi siya mag-blot. Yeah, nakita nyo. So, kung yung mga pinakita kong reference kanina, or rather reference, yung mga sample paintings ko, uh, ink, again, not painting, okay, sample drawings ko, yung sample drawings ko, combination of different techniques na makikita pa natin dito. Pero maraming cross-hatching dun. Pero cross-hatching na curvilinear yun, saka stippling, kasi we can combine 
together yung mga several techniques mamaya. Okay, I'm done with the cross hatching. I'm gonna start with the curvilinear. So, ito parang mga haspi ng ano ng wood, yung wood patterns. Pede rin siyang waves, pede siyang gamitin sa hair. Okay, just do your thing. Okay, kung saan siya pupunta, sundin yun lang. Idudugtong natin yan mamaya. Oh, for example, ito lahat upwards yung 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 mga waves ko. Again, it, tinatawag siyang curvilinear. Pero wag niyo kalimutan yung proximity ng lines ha. So, kagaya nito, nag-adlib ako, dinagdag ko na lang yung curve doon no, para ma-enclose yung space. You look at this one, ha? Ina-enclose ko yung space, di ba? Yung second box. Yeah. Tutuloy-tuloy nyo na to, ha? Kasi mas mahirap na, di ba? Yung proseso. Okay, next. <laughs> Okay, tapos na ako sa curvilinear ko. So, pwede kayong magdagdag pa ng lines kung gusto nyong magkaroon ng proximity na maging darker yung ilang areas. Ha? Ito magagamit natin ito mamaya sa hair. Ha? Yung sample ko. After that, so this is uh, curvilinear. Mix natin ay stippling. So, eto parang ano, balahibo ng aso pero may ikli or yung mga raindrops. So, kahit hindi natin tapusin siguro ng sham kasi ang tagal gawin ito, lalo yung pointillism, yung next, matagal gawin. So, eto ay stippling. Okay, parang ganito lang. Parang balahibo ng aso, di ba? Or ulan, di ba? 
So, eto kahit anong direction, ha? It doesn't, uh, it doesn't really matter kasi gagamitin natin to based on the contour ng reference material na ipapakopya ko sa inyo, ha? So, halimbawa, pag talagang pataas, di pataas din. Kung gusto niyong pababa, pababa. Basta, maiikli. Kung eto, mahahaba. Eto, maiikli lang. Okay? So, stippling. So, pwede nyo palagyan ng mga, yung mga in-betweens ng step lines nyo. Ito, kahit gawin lang natin lima yung steep lang natin. Limang boxes lang kasi sobrang haba. Ang dami nito, ha? Matagal siya gawin mamaya. Pagod na yung kamay natin. So, again, limang, box, limang boxes lang yung imamanipulate natin, ha? Just five boxes. Eh, Di ba nine lahat? Limang boxes lang yung recommended ko, ha? Okay, bakit nine? Kasi ano yan, uh, nine scale value. Laging add yung number. Di ba? Pag iba number, hindi mo makikita yung differential. It should always be an odd number. Think of that, ha? So, nasa pangatlo na ako. Pagdating sa pang-apat, saka sa pang-lima, mas konti na yung linya na gagamitin ko. Again, everything is line. Except for the fourth, and then rather the fifth, and then the last technique that we're going to use which is pointillism so these are dots Oo, dark to light siya, no? Ayan, no? So, pakonte ng pakonte. Proximity. Again, proximity. If you want to make it darker, mas maraming linya na dikat-dikat. If you want to make it lighter, then less lines. Okay, the last but not the least, stippling. Uh, rather, pointillism. So, eto mga tuldok. As in, literal na magtutuldok tayo, ha? So, the technique for pointillism is ganito. Guys, uh, would you like to look at me? Nakaganyan lang siya, oh. Parang inaangat nyo lang ng konti yung kanyang kamay para makapagtuldok kayo na marami. So, nakakapagawa ng ink drawing using pointillism alone. Remember that a dot is an extended line. Rather, a line is an extended dot. Huwag nyo lagyan ng buntot yung dot nyo, ha? Kasi it will look like a stippling.
Oh, lima lang din yung gawin natin sa pointillism. So, less, ano na, dots na. Mas nakakapagod tong ano ink drawing kaysa sa pencil. Kaya mamaya mararamdaman niyo medyo ano na kayo, naiinis na kayo. So ma-imagine niyo kung gaano ako naghihirap para matapos ang isa kong ink drawing. Okay, so eto na siya. Pero nasa sa inyo ha, eto shortcut lang. So pwede ko pang dagdagan actually to. Pwede niyo balikan yung area. Yung box na yun. Ah. Kung gusto nyo pang i-dark or dagdagan nyo yung proximity. Okay, magdademo na ulit ako ng Lipid. Again, black ink lang muna tayo. We'll use this uh, orange and then brown later on. Ink lang again. Okay, and then we're we'll gonna draw the rack. So, uh, I think you just have to watch me first. Okay? You just have to watch me. Tapos analyze and then you can ask me questions directly para mas maganda. I will I will be you know, I will really appreciate that. So I have my reference material here with me. Tapos isang sheet ng paper na gagamitin natin and then make sure that it's proportioned. And then when I say proportion, dapat malaki yung drawing natin. Kasi this is the dimension of the paper. So dapat yung scale ng bato natin malaki. Kaya tatlo lang yung gagawin natin pero mabigat, 'di ba? So, we're not gonna use pencil. Hawakan lang natin yung ating ink in this manner. Yung ballpoint pen natin. So, para akong naglalagay ng linya na malalapis. Hindi siya kita ata sa screen pero guideline na yan. So, meron akong diagonal, vertical line. Kasi para ito yung height. Ito naman, diagonal, horizontal. Ito yung width. Okay. So, kasi yun lang naman. Tapos, ano ba yung basic shape niya? Ano yung attributed shape niya? It's like an itlog. Oval siya, di ba? Pero, lalagyan natin ng mga Yan. Also, when I put the outline, okay? When I put the outline, it doesn't have to be makapal kasi yun yung nagiging problema sa ink drawing. Akala nila lahat forward sa mata. May kinalaman din yung line ano, hand pressure. So, if you want the lines to be thick, it must be closer to your eyes. Yung mga lines na mas maninipis or uh, receding or fading, it should be malayo or may light source doon kaya hindi siya ganun kalakas yung linya. Ganun kalinaw yung linya. So what I'm doing here is naglalagay ako ng linya pero putol-putol. Hindi ko siya sinosolid. Kasi pag sinolid ko, magmumuka siyang illustration o lahat nakaharap sa mata mo. So, yung necessary lang, like this one, I could see a dark area here. So, medyo kakapalan ko po ang aking gulhit. Pero dito, pataas, konti lang. Okay. 
Okay, now, I'm gonna identify which areas are dark, which areas are light. So, pwedeng mag-start lang muna ako sa isang side. On this side lang muna. I'm gonna draw some areas na nakikita ko. So, ano ba yung ginagamit kong technique dito? Kung mapapansin nyo, this is curvilinear. Diba? Naglalagay pa lang ako ng curvilinear muna. Kasi yun lang yung necessary. Actually, pwede nyo i-work out lahat ng curvilinear, i-drawings nyo na muna. Pero, mas maganda, isang side lang muna para hindi tayo mahirapan at hindi tayo malito. Pero, at the same time, though, isang side lang muna yung dinodrawingan ko, we should also anticipate that our drawings are proportioned. And then, when I say proportioned, on that certain area, dapat dun ka lang maglalagay ng line which is necessary. As I was saying a while ago, earlier, that less is more. If you put too much, li too, too much lines together, it will look like a mess. So, on this area, I will add more lines and then, okay, ito ay stippling yung ginagamit ko. Kita nyo? So, stippling X cross cross hatching. So, in-overlap ko yung stippling ko. Pagkalahati na ako, pwede na kayong gumawa, ha? Para makita nyo lang muna kung paano ko siya tinatrabaho, siguro. You need to follow the contour. Kung ano yung contour ng bato, yun yung gamitin natin. So, kailangan kailang, kailang mo dito dark. So, gawin din natin dark. Pwede natin kapalan yung linya. Uulitin lang natin, kagaya ng ginagawa ko. Proximity again is important. As you can see, ito, Meron na siyang parang rough texture yung dine-develop ko rito na area lang. So, wala na wala meron mga butas kayong nakikita. Pwede mo pwede mo i-drawing to tapos kulayan niyo lang ng tinta, 'di ba? Pero hahabulin din natin yung mga step lines. Or step lines. At the same time, don't forget your light source. Yung may mga maliwanag, less na yung lines doon kasi hindi lahat ng detalye may ilalagay natin dito. Ang ilalagay lang natin yung necessary. So dito may nakita akong malaking butas. So pwede ko na siyang pwede yung tinta. Pero yung paglalagay ko ng tinta, nakasunod pa rin doon yung contour. It's not a random thing. Again, yung drawing natin dapat mamaya hindi magmukhang patatas, ha? Okay, dapat magmukha siyang bato. Ipapakita ko, iaangat ko yung ginagawa ko mamaya. Natutuwa naman ako sa isang side pa. Sinusunod ko. So, bato ko yung bat mo ka rin. Saka, pakiramdaman mo yung binibrawing mo. Diba sabi ko, observation skills are very important. So, kung ano yung nakikita mo, i-transfer mo. Huwag ka mag-drawing ng kung ano yung nasa utak mo. I-drawing mo kung ano yung nakikita mo. Kasi, first and foremost, dapat yung artist magaling mag-observe. Mas lalawa ko yung imahinasyon mo kung mas marami kang bala sa utak mo na na 
record. Tapos, i-include mo yun dun sa imagination skills mo. ba? Diba? Imaginative. Okay, tignan nyo tong itsura na to. Meron na ba siyang pakiramdam na roughness? ba? Diba? So, i-add up ko pa, ha? On some areas. What if yung ibang areas malalaki? So, ito nga gaya nito. Magkaano lang yung hand pressure ko nakikita nyo? This is curvilinear. Pero, on top, it's putting a shading there. Okay? On top, tayo nag-exercise para ma-particularize muna kayo doon sa ginamit natin. But again, at the end of the day, it's overlapping. It's a, it's a matter of uh, dissecting. It's a matter of uh, analyzing. That's why the reason why I said analyze. It's a matter of analyzing whether is it rough, is it smooth, has it a depression, things like that. Yun po. Marami kang i-consider. Almost, ano na ako? Three parts. Okay? Guys, listen. Hmm. Look pala. Almost, no? Bato na siya, di ba? Diretso lang kayo, gumaganyan lang kayo, oh. Pwede nyo ikulot yung stippling nyo, pwede siyang a bit curvilinear, oh. Oh. ba? Diba? Pwede nyo ibilog siya, circular type, oh. Para kayong nagra-random doodle lang. done. Hindi ko na i-overwork kasi satisfied na rin ako sa result. Okay? Uh, para mas maging three-dimensional lang siya all volumetric, I'm gonna put a cast shadow at the bottom. So, maglalagay ako ng ano literal. Uh, 
para hindi siya nakalutang lang, ha? Ayan, may shadow pa siya sa ilalim mo. Oh. 3D na, ha? Let's start again. Uh, kanina, ginawa natin yung bato. And then, I think, uh, the difficulty with that is Paano i-create yung daming buta sa kayong mga bulges niya, yung depressions and everything. Uh, nahirapan kayo pero as you move along, nakuha naman ng marami. ba? Diba? Natutunan nila na hindi pala mahirap. Akala natin mali na pero may konting i-a-adjust ka lang pala. Mawa-work out mo pa kasi uh, sa ink, uh, the mistake is part of the ad lib and then that ad lib should look like not a mistake at all, literally. Hindi mo dapat ulit-ulitin. ba? Diba? Uh, may i-adjust ka lang ng konti, matatama na siya. And again, we just captured the essence of the element, not the picture-perfect element na dapat gayang-gaya siya. ba? Diba? Now, we have another reference material here, which is a bison. Uh, this bison is, syempre, yung mata lang yung gagayahin natin, including yung hair. Now, we have three colors po dito ng ink natin. Of course, yung black is not a color. It's a value. And then, we have brown and then orange. Ito yung gagamitin natin. So, para mas mapadali yung buhay natin, magsisimula muna tayo sa yellow o sa orange. I will do the sketching. parang din drawing ko muna siya ng ganyan and then afterwards dahil nakikita na natin meron siyang strand sa kakatawa ng uh, strand inside it Ngayon yung eye na, yung eyes niya pag ganun eh. Hindi naman siya flat na ganun lang. So dapat curve din yung stroke natin. Follow the contour. Ayun oh, pa curve din. Kasi pa what may ano, shade to be lighter, gagaanan ko lang yung hand pressure ko para lumambot 
hindi siya mag pang step kahit yung proximity ng lines ko dikit-dikit and then titingnan nyo rito nagka-counter stroke ako o nagka nagka-counter hatch ako uh, cross hatching Oh, tong area na to merong dark. So gawin din natin, hindi mo siya i-block out lang na itim. So gagamit ka ngayon ng mga strands na strokes to create those strands. Yes po. Kaya naka-cluster siya. dito light gray or bluish gray so dapat light lang din yung strokes natin hindi ganoon ka heavy ayan dino drawing ko muna to in outline ko muna ha to in outline ko lang din tapos yung leave out the space We have to darken it. Ano na kita nyo? Yung strokes ko. It's a hatch line. It actually is a curvilinear. And then nagko cross hatch din siya. Tama si ma'am. Chris. Pero may hand pressure ko. Di in. Tapos mahaba. O magsiship ako. Okay, ito pala yung ginagawa ko, pero meron na siyang lalim. ba? Diba? Hindi ko pa lahat na detalye. Parang ano lang siya, nagdalagay lang muna ako ng what is necessary. Tinatansya ko pa lang, parang nagmamansya ako ng kulay. Literal.
Mas expressive yung lanes ko ah. Pansin nyo. Yung mga ibang blacks lang muna yung ginagamit ko. Mamaya na yung ibang ano. Gulay. No, light lang muna yung mga itim ko tapos unti-unti ko nang kinakapalan pero dito pa lang sa black and white meron na siyang ano meron na siyang black na necessary diba? okay I'm gonna add the brown adding browns and oranges on it. Thank you very much sa uh, King Arts and Reservoir. Napaka-accommodating ng ano ng owner niya si Ma'am Chris. And then uh, his hubby si Sir Jansen. So nakakatuwa kasi ano eh, mahilig talaga sila sa arts tapos uh, very supportive sila. Tapos ano, uh, siya mismo sumali sa ano eh, sa workshop including her daughter Alexa. 
sana uh, makabisit kayo sa lugar na to. Masasarap yung pagkain na sinuserve nila. Tapos they have Italian, Mediterranean, and uh, Thai and Indian cuisine. Saan makikita siya dito sa Tagaytay Santa Rosa Road? Silang, Cavite. Okay, so uh, puntahan po natin siya. So kung hindi pa kayo nakaka-like and subscribe sa aking channel, Sining with Abe o Suabe, uh, just like the notification bell para pag may mga updates ako na video, malaman nyo kaagad. So, salamat. Maraming maraming salamat. Muli at muli at muli at muli. Thank you.